big test. We're going to go through the refrigerator, which can be scary. You ready? Well, nothing but health food in there. <laughs> yeah, we'll see about that. All right, something like this. We've got a creamy dressing, high fat. How much are you putting this on, of this on your salad? A lot. I use a lot of dressing. Do you? Smaller. Okay. So how about we do something else, like a healthier, lighter option, fat-free Caesar Italian, or even better yet, like an olive oil and vinegar. See, it's full though. That's because I never use it. Exactly. That. So we have it. This is like a heart attack waiting to happen. Mayonnaise. Not even light mayonnaise. It's just like a bowl of fat. Do you eat mayonnaise? Tuna on all fish. those sandwiches you're eating every day? Yeah, with tuna no fish. More. No more. No tuna fish either. What do you want to put on tuna fish on? And lastly, you know, I looking in this fridge, like, I see some other stuff. Like, we've got syrup, which is all the sugar. I'm sure you're putting this on pancakes, white pancakes, not even healthy. Yeah, we've got some making over to do. I was checking out something over here on the counter, which is white bread. And Where did that come from? <laughs> Dave's eating a lot of sandwiches, meaning he's been eating a whole lot of white bread. You don't like wheat bread and rye bread? And Not really. I've eaten it on occasion, but I don't like the taste of it. Okay, well, this right here is packing on the pound. So we're going to change this up. We could do wheat, rye, or even anything like white rice. We're going to replace it with brown rice. It's so easy. It's just teaching you the ways to make something healthier. So you can still eat stuff you like, but we've got to change it up a bit. All you right. think you can handle it? I guess. I'll give it a try. We think we're being healthy with instant mashed potatoes, but your first clue is instant, and we should be doing whole potatoes, if any. I prefer sweet potatoes. They're a healthier option. But, I mean, white rice, we need brown rice, carb overload noodles. Uh, what are we going to do with that? Kathleen is a huge fan of Splenda. I know we think we're being healthy, Kathleen, but let's talk about how many of these are you putting in one glass of tea? Not a pitcher, <laughs> but a glass of tea. When I get the large at McDonald's, I put in eight. All right. So, I mean, better than buying sweet and tea, right? Not necessarily. This is a lot of chemicals she's putting in her body. So we need to wean her off of Splenda. It's highly addictive. A healthy option! Woohoo! We've got whole wheat, whole wheat noodles. But see, what we're going to do is we're going to keep these and we're going to get rid of these. Because these are made, they're like white pasta, very unhealthy. Are you surprised that some of this stuff has been told, that you've been told that some of it's unhealthy? Yeah, I am. Like what? Um, I don't know though. We always do pancakes and we always love them and I didn't think that there was anything wrong with pancakes. Well, if, if they have to do pancakes, there are whole wheat options. Okay, and then once again, we can't do too much bread. This is made with white flour. White flour, you know, we're about to clean out the fridge, and I have two wonderful helpers to help me out. Okay, so let's open this. Now, throwing away all creamy dressing, no more. And all the butter. Say bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you almost feel bad throwing some of this stuff away because it's, you know, there are a lot of hungry people. More butter! Five packs of butter! Stuff like this, definitely throwing the mayonnaise away. Um, we've got to throw away more and more butter. I mean, come on. I found the hidden jelly. Oh, no. Okay. All right. So. That was really hard because there was so much bad food. And then lastly, you want to do the honors? Sorry, Dave. 